Pennsylvania Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon is speaking out tonight about her frightening ordeal. She was carjacked at gunpoint yesterday afternoon in South Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo spoke with Scanlon and joins us from Center City tonight with all the latest. Matt. Well, the Congress member revealed during that heart pounding incident she had a gun pointed directly at her. She also said she was surprised that some of the suspects appeared to be teenagers. It was a scary thing to have happen, but I'm extremely grateful that no one was hurt. U.S. Congress member Mary Gay Scanlon remembers the horrifying moments she was carjacked at gunpoint Wednesday afternoon at FDR Park. I had just finished walking the trails in the park with some of my team members and other officials to discuss the city's ambitious plans to renovate the park. Police say she was speaking with someone near her car when an SUV pulled up next to them, essentially blocking them in. The affidavit shows one suspect got out, had a gun in his hand, raised the gun and pointed it directly at the Congress member's chest and demanded the keys to her vehicle. Scanlon's car was found last night near Christiana Mall, Newark. Four minors are now charged in connection to being in a stolen vehicle. But 19-year-old Josiah Brown of Wilmington faces federal charges after admitting his role to police. The affidavit also shows Brown wrote an apology to the Congress member saying he was sorry for stealing the car and for pointing a gun at her. I haven't seen this letter. I, I too am sorry that he pointed the gun at me. The U.S. attorney says carjacking is a federal crime. If you pick up a gun and use it to commit a crime, together we will come after you. And we are very good at what we do. Armed carjackings have been on the rise in Philly with nearly 800 this year, more than double from last year. We know some of them that we're currently investigating do fit an active pattern. And President Biden called the Congress member to check in on her. She said she was grateful for the call, but also expressed frustration over uh, not being able to pass what she calls common sense gun legislation. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse in Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you for that update, Matt.